It's been a hard 12 months for tech. Layoffs have eliminated thousands of jobs in Silicon Valley and more may be on the way. But for the sector's biggest firms, there's finally some good news. Alphabet, the parent company of the search titan Google, saw revenue of $70 billion and a net profit of $15 billion in the first quarter of 2023. That's a billion dollars more than markets anticipated. Microsoft turned a $18.3 billion profit from $50 billion in total revenue. And they'll need every penny they can get as the two companies gear up for a battle for dominance in artificial intelligence services. That will require major investments in hardware and, for the moment, expensive human talent. Well, for more on this, we're joined now by Danny Hewson, live from Huddersfield in England. She's a financial analyst at AJ Bell. Good to have you back with us, Danny. It's been a year to forget for both Microsoft and Alphabet in terms of their stock prices. With these positive earnings, are things starting to look up for the tech giants? I think the best that we can say is that they beat expectations, which at the moment is pretty good. But these results were not stellar. And in fact, it feels like they were very much hiding behind all the hype about AI. Clearly, this is where both companies feel that in the future, revenues are going to be driven from. But as you say, it's going to take a huge amount of investment to get there. We've already seen uh, Microsoft spending over $11 billion with OpenAI, with its chat GPT. And we know that that has made a big difference to its, its Bing search engine. In fact, it took the time to mention that in its results this time, that the number of people downloading Bing had gone up ever since they mentioned the fact that they were integrating some AI into this search engine. It is a growth model but it is going to be expensive. And of course, right at the moment, the big thing that investors are thinking about is profits. Yes, and what do you think is the outlook for uh, the other tech rivals? Uh, I'm thinking Amazon and Facebook, Meta even. Are we expecting their earnings to be just as positive? Are they starting to turn a corner themselves? I think what we've found is that the consumer has been far more resilient than many people were expecting. But of course, you know, some business spend has gone down and these companies have had to make big cuts to their workforce. Investors are really focusing in on the bottom line. We do know that AI is something that many companies are looking in, whether they be startups or whether they be big companies like Amazon. We know also that the likes of Alphabet and Microsoft are really ahead in the space. And we also know that there is some concern about how fast this race to artificial intelligence is going. How might it impact jobs in the future? We've had Elon Musk, of course, calling for a pause in development of any further AI technology while regulators and governments really get to grips with it. Has tech turned a corner? I still think that there is going to be some disappointment over this earnings season that we're not seeing quite the growth that many investors have come to expect from these kind of companies. As you say, Danny, a lot of excitement about the emergence of artificial intelligence technologies, but there was also a lot of excitement about the so-called metaverse, so much so that Facebook felt the need to rebrand their umbrella company to the term meta. Is there any danger, do you think, of AI being a blip or is that more substantial than uh, the metaverse? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it could be a case of the king's new clothes all over again, where, you know, we get this huge investment and it doesn't actually go anywhere. I think that there are clearly some big gains to be found, and Microsoft and Alphabet certainly see that within their search engines. And try, they've already monetized search, and they want to take that further. So I think in that respect, AI stands to be a real moneymaker. The issue, of course, is that AI is so huge, and there will be some bright ideas, some huge amount of cash spent on things, that maybe just don't take off in the same way that the metaverse, certainly at the moment, hasn't delivered for the likes of meta. But it is an exciting time. Investors are excited to see anything that drives the next bit of revenue growth. And certainly for Microsoft, it does feel like a new chapter. 
Okay, Danny Hewson will have to leave it there, but always great to get your analysis. Thank you. Now to other top business stories from around the world. Standard Chartered has reported its largest quarterly profit since 2014, thanks to increased trading income and higher interest rates. Pre-tax profit jumped 21% in the first quarter from a year ago to $1.8 billion, beating expectations. The emerging markets-focused lender also expects income this year to rise around 10%, the top of a previously guided range. Air conditioner maker Carrier has agreed to buy German industrial firm Visemann's Climate Solutions unit for $13.2 billion. The deal will give Carrier access to several sustainable technologies as it looks to capitalise on the rapid energy transition in Europe. Founded in 1917, Visman manufactures heat pumps, boilers and heating systems. And British American Tobacco has agreed to pay around $635 million to US authorities for violating sanctions on North Korea. The cigarette maker admitted that it sold products between 2007 and 2017 and misled banks about the source of those transactions. The settlement represents the largest penalty ever imposed for violations of US sanctions on North Korea.